Aberg aggressive play off the tee. It's a good line, just a little bit light. With a big swing off the right there for him. But it's an eagle putt. Stacked green dot round. Everyone looking on at this young star. Big breaker off the right, couple of feet off it. Putting into the shadows. Looks better speed. Delightful long putt. Tap in birdie and Aberg goes one under. Slot this one in a little bit of a free road of a free read off Aberg. A disappointing five for McElroy. One over after four. Oh yeah, this is coming down with some snow on it. The touch left, but it's just hung on. That's a lovely angle. Top of your screen there, pins up in the back right. That Rory here looks like cat wedge in the hand. I mean, if he's going to hit this, it means he's going to have to hit it pretty firm. 139 yards to go up the hill. Line up and down, usually means it's on line, steady. Yeah, that's beauty. Straight at it. And I think it's going to come off his left a fraction. Just inside the hole, up the hill. Keep it nice and firm. Aberg's going, he's got 113 yards, sitting pretty in the middle of the field, a little bit of an upslope, all above his stance. On this swing, just a little three quarter wedge. That's amazing. Beautiful play, see how he the wrists out of it, just an arm swing, keep the spin off it. It's quite a race pin there. Old head on young shoulders. Shot from Michael Wright, good chance. Oh, golden opportunity. This was a perfect place to leave it straight up the hill. Everyone looking on for birdie. It's just pulled it, John. He was up and looking at it almost before he hit it there. They have such high standards. For a good approach shot, Aberg with a short birdie at 11. Many take three wood here at 12. Just short of that right bunker that has to be avoided. So good position for Aberg off of 12T. Two times a top college player in the United States. After a bit of a wait, second shot into the par 5 12. Yeah, 221 yards with that pin back right, Jake. Accessible pin. Get over there, you go. Oh, Made that look easy, didn't he? Raised green, not easy. And this is where it finished. Pitched on the downslope, the forehand stopped here. Good, golden opportunity for Eagle. Should break a bit off his right. Oh, how does that get round the hole? Good sign, though. Frustration took it well. Even a wave to the crowd. Sometimes you get so mad with it. How did that not go win? What a par four. 470 yards. You got bunkers left and bunkers down the right hand side over a little bit of a ridge and down it will fall. I mean, that bunker on the right hand side, you scream there. It used to be a great drive to go over that. And that is perfect. Position right there for Aberg. Yeah, good play that is actually. Hi, Takes everything out of play that does. So.
Got a great people. camera angle here, John, to see this. Yeah, what a great, beautiful view up this green, isn't it? With the crowd behind it, Sam. Magnificent. Yeah. It does come in off the left edge, but you don't want to pull it a yard because it'll leave you a really tough chip. Oh. It's trying to draw it in, it's left it right again. It won't be that far away. That's how good he is, Jay, isn't it? Yeah, very good. He's unhappy with it, but it's a good shot. And he broke to go now. He's had a bunch, 147. I feel down this right. Got a great angle to attack with a pin on 22. Oh. 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 Maybe just a ball and a half, two balls outside right, if anything. Graze the last two like you wouldn't believe. He's overdue, maybe third time lucky. Yeah, McElroy picks up his second birdie today at 13 after a very good shot and gets it in the red numbers. And this should be a sure birdie for the young Swede to get to three under. Brilliant. Beautiful two shot, beautiful second. Well, two now on the left hand side here, Sam. We got 164 yards, please 10 up, one club more. Going with the eight iron here. Oh! Uh, that for four in a row. Well, I think he was looking at that car on his left hand side there when that was in the air. We need to put a bit of speed into this one, generate some spin. Short side of himself, no green to work with. Got to get out pretty sharpish. That was a lot of sand in there, John. That was a lot of sand, wasn't it? This for par now for Rory. himself. Not a lot in this at all. Man's on a crisp away playing some nice golf now. Yeah. I mean the pin's over on that left hand side. He's not looking at that surely. He's got a little bit of space to the right of it. That's what I'd be doing. I thought this thing's ideal because everything was paid left, okay? Yeah. Such a simple, repeatable looking swing. And a good play. Didn't take on a pole location, tucked behind the bunker from a bad angle. Smart. Aberg for five in a row. Oh. Quickly, does it hit it once it gets in behind it? It's perfect five iron form, really. So it's a nice high draw. Playing absolutely amazing all day. Oh, what a ball flight. No fear there, was there? Is that no fear, or maybe he pulled that a little bit? 196 yards, 7 iron in hand for Rory McIlroy. Longest drive of the day. Better swing. All three players on the green, Aberg and McIlroy in two. Victor Hovland had to lay up. What a lengthy number. I mean, he's at the pace of these greens to pop on. As R. Aberg today. Bit of breaker off the left hand side. Slightly pulled it. Must have had his heart in his mouth with that second shot. I think a 
Yeah, swing's not much. Gonna go. It would have done. Just needed another ounce. Just a first look at it. Just wants to move a little bit from right and it'll level itself out pretty straight down the hill. If anyone can. Oh, what has he left done? A little bit of aggression. McElroy up the hill for birdie. Oh. That's probably the worst they could have scored. Okay. Eberg with a little work left for a 68. Snuck in the left edge, but a fine day. Obviously, tarnished with the 7 at 17. But a beautiful round of golf. Uh, Ludwig, a cracking start to the week and out there with Rory and Victor on this most fantastic stage, this atmosphere at the BMW PJ Championship, it's got that kind of major feel to it. How much did you enjoy the day? Uh, it was great. A little bit more people than I'm used to following me around. Uh, but uh, no, it was really fun uh, playing with those two guys and obviously, um, you know, the, the level of golf that they can do is pretty amazing. Uh, and for me to watch that is pretty cool. Um, I was kind of walking around and then almost pinching myself in the arm around the fairways, but uh, really enjoyed it um, and uh, proud of the way I handled it today. Do you feel that the atmosphere, all these crowds, the grandstands, everything is grander here, enhances your performance? Is it something you enjoy being in that moment? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think this is what I've been wanting to do for such a long time. And for me to actually be here, for actually playing these events that I've watched for such a long time, is it's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, I try to embrace it. I try to have fun with it and uh, take it for, uh, for what it is and, and, and try to have fun with it. It was a steady start to your round, but it was from the 11th hole. It was like you just moved into a different gear. Something clicked, something happened. You came alive and we were all yeah. stuck to the screen. What what happened from your point of view? Yeah, uh, you know, I hit I hit some nice iron shots. Uh, I feel like this golf course is it's pretty straightforward. If you if you put the ball in front of you off the tee, you get a, a, a lot of mid irons. And, uh, you know, luckily today I hit a few nice ones and uh, and obviously made a few putts as well. So. I think that's what I got to keep doing uh, and, and then just take it for what it is. And obviously it's a big couple of weeks. We're into the, f the closing stretch to Marco Simone and you've got some coaches out here. We saw Peter Hansen out there with you on the walking the fairways. What, what role is, does he have in your team? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I've gotten to know Peter, Peter quite well over the last uh, year, year and a half, something like that. And, uh, you know, he brings so much experience to the table. Uh, he brings a lot of knowledge uh, and, and I think he resonates in a very healthy and sound way. Um, so. I really enjoy spending time with him, and to have him here is, is pretty cool. Um, and just to have normal conversations about things, and uh, and and you know he's got he's been there, he's done it. And uh, for me, wanting to get to there, uh, you know, it'd be foolish for me not to take advantage of that. Really good start to the week, and we wish you well. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here. <laughs>